Hey, good morning. It's the Playhouse in the morning. Why not eat fours? We dive into a mailbag situation. And Playhouse family member Greg wants to know what you're making of this one this morning at 237. It's tax 35 to 70. So he says, there's a really weird dude in my neighborhood that really bothers me. I don't know the guy. He lives like six houses down from us. But every time my wife is outside, he basically slows down driving and is clearly leering in her direction. Whether we're together outside or not, he's always obviously gawking at her, and it really bothers me. It's gotten to the point where he drives past our home, and he almost appears to visibly slow down so he can stare at our property and into our windows, or at least that's how I feel. I can't tell you how many times I've made weird eye contact from my living room and mouth things like, what? And then he speeds up and drives away. Part of me thinks it's in my head, but I honestly think it's happening, and now my wife is on board, too, and thinks it is happening. Do I need to go talk to this dude? What do I even accuse him of? What would other people do in this instance? Now, if you, uh, what would you even advise someone like that to do? That's really creepy. It's just because the fact that he said, I'm wondering if it is in my head, I would continue to do what you're doing where you make the eye contact with him and maybe you're mouthing things. But I would just wave so he gets the hint that I can I see, see you. what you're doing. We're well aware of it. So wave and maybe she waves and then he'll catch on like, Okay, they're aware of me, and maybe he'll stop doing it. But if you're waving and he still is driving by just staring at her, because that has to be so uncomfortable for your wife, it's weird for you. They live by you. Then you could maybe after a while say something like, Hey, is there something going on in our yard? I always see you staring at it. What's going? Do you see something? What? And it's weird too, given the fact that, like, you know, you recognize him as somebody that lives down the street, but you don't really know the guy, right? Mm -hmm. So that makes that adds like a level of creep to it, where it's like, okay, there's this familiar face, but he's always staring at us. It's so strange. Uh, What would you advise him to do, or if this was you, or this was your husband that was so frustrated by it, or you knew that he was staring at you and your husband was noticing, how would you like that move forward in in your life if this was you? 237, it's tanks 35270. You had something you want to say about it? Hello? Well, sounds be afraid of, of that confrontation going south. Sure. But yeah, that's that's the problem. I think he should confront the guy if he feels comfortable doing that, but it, know that it could end badly. Well, yeah, and then what do you even say like, "Hey, I've noticed that you're like cocking at my wife." Or I just, I'm wondering how you would even approach that if you were to say something. I mean, you're going to obviously come off as very accusatory, but then you're going to have to decide like how am I I'm going to go about this? Like, I don't even know what you would say. That is cuz what do you say? I know you're checking my wife out. Stop. Yeah, I mean, is that, are you still on the line? Like, how, if that was your husband, what would you advise him to even say? I think you can. Why not? I mean, it's creepy. It's weird. Oh, so just straight up accuse him? But if he's in his car, then what? You're going to walk over to his house? Then you're the one staring at him to see, okay, which house is he going to? <laughs> you do a bang on the door? Yeah. Yeah, it's that's a tricky one. If this was your life, how would you handle it? 237, it's text 35270. You're listening to the play. 